Hello there, I'm Dan, and I'm here to tell you more about the adventures that Ruby Ring and her dad Peter Pointer are having looking for Ruby's doll Baby Small. You might remember that last time they'd just been exploring the arctic wastes of the freezer world, but the polar bear hadn't seen Baby Small either. So now they're outside the shop wondering what they should do. So, they walked back down the road, back towards Grandma Tabby's house, and the first thing that they came to was a hedge. A hedge, said Peter. Grandma Tabby's hedge. What did we do? We looked into it, said Ruby. We looked into it, said Dad. And what did we see? A lot of dark, said Ruby. Then she stopped. Dad, she said, a hedge isn't a problem, not for you and me, but if a hedge was bigger, if you're small, could be a tree. It's just a little hedge to us, and that's all well and good. To us, it's just a little hedge, but to small, it could be a deep, dark wood. Dad! What? said Peter. You know what we've got to do, don't you? said Ruby. What? said Peter. We've got to look for her, said Ruby. Hmm, said Dad. I thought you might say that. Come on then. They took each other's hand, took a deep breath, closed their eyes, took one big step, and all of a sudden the hedge shot up. The branches spread. The leaves swished under their feet. The twigs spread out over their head. And there they were, in a deep, dark wood, but with the birds flying high above their heads. Well, they kept going deeper and deeper. And everywhere they went, they called out for Small. Small! Small! But nobody answered. Ruby looked at the birds and said, have you seen Baby Small? She's not very big. She's quite hard to see. She's not very special, but she's special to me. What if she's lost? What if she's scared? the sunshine, but she feels the cold. But all the birds shook their heads. They hadn't seen Small. Finally, they came to the middle of the wood, where they saw the biggest bird they'd ever seen sat on its nest. Ruby said, have you seen Small? But the big bird shook its head. Well, I must say, in the deep, dark wood to see a girl and her dad is very good. Deep down here in the gloom and the shadows, nobody comes and nobody goes. Well, there's snails and beetles and things that crawl and lots of birds flying, but that's about all. I wish I'd seen your baby small, but I'm sorry we haven't seen her at all. Not at all. Small, small, cried Ruby. But nobody answered. Not here, said Dad. Oh, well, thank you, Mr. Bird, said Ruby. Goodbye, Ruby, said the bird. And that was that. They swished and swashed their way back to the side of the hedge. And soon, they tumbled through it, into the grass, into Grandma Tabby's garden, where Grandma Tabby was pinning out her washing. Ruby! Peter! said Grandma Tabby. What are you both doing back here? We lost Baby Small, said Ruby. We came looking for her. We can't find her anywhere. Not anywhere at all. Well, said Grandma Tabby. Come and sit down and tell me all about it, and I'll see if I can help. 
So, Peter and Ruby sat down on the grass whilst the washing flip, flap, flipped on the line and they told Grandma Tabby all about where they'd been, what they'd looked and what they'd seen. Grandma Tabby, said Ruby, we've looked everywhere for Baby Small. We can't find her anywhere. Did we leave her here, said Peter. You're our last hope. And Grandma Tabby was just about to shake her head. I'm sorry to say no, she meant to have said, but something quite different happened instead. Tom Thumb, the Tomcat, leapt out of his bed. They all had a question, but no time to ask it, as Tom Thumb went burrowing in the washing basket. He burrowed and burrowed and burrowed, and this is what he found. Baby Small! Baby Small! said Ruby. You are here. There you are. We lost you and you were in Grandma Tabby's washing right at the bottom of the basket. We've been looking everywhere for you and now you're back. Baby Small, Baby Small, where are you? There you are, there you are, how do you do? Baby small, baby small, where are you? Here you are, here you are, how do you do? So, that was that. Baby small had been found safe and sound in Grandma Tabby's washing basket. They all sat down and had fish fingers for tea. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed the story. Baby small's just a small thing, but small things can be precious, can't they? And if you've got something precious, whether it's a toy or something else, maybe you'd like to tell us about it. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.